Hello magical box lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in very grey sky and it's going to rain Derbyshire. Yay! Right, so today I've got for you the Wonky Broomsticks Bell Time Box. Yay! <laughs> so we're in the month of April so we're getting ready for Bell Time which is like the 1st of uh, May. So here we go. Right, so the box is discreet as per usual from Wonky and on it it doesn't say anything witchcraft related at all. Uh, the return address just says Wonky sub box April 2023 on there and it just says thank you for supporting my small business on that there. Obviously I don't, oop, ow, <laughs> obviously I don't know what that says. But yeah, very discreet. That is just my address that I've inked out. So very discreet if you're worried about what the packaging looks like for your household. So yeah, un unusual box shape this time around for Wonky. Each, each time we're getting a different box, I quite like that. Keeps me on my toes, keeps me on my toes. Right, so are we ready guys? So as usual, I have opened the box. Just to do a quick glance. But there wasn't really much I could do really with this box. It was literally just open this because <laughs> it's crammed full of goodies and I, I just have to show you the logo I love their logo the cat on the broomstick I love it so full absolutely full so I'll get everything out and then I'll show you each item in turn so ingredients list and uh, that is list of what they've chosen, why they've chose it. I like that. I like a little bit of a backstory of why they've chose the item. And um, we've got the card pull for the month and the bell time ritual. Thank you, because as you know, I like to do the rituals from Wonky. Uh, I just I didn't get a chance to do the Ostara one uh, just because of work. I was working, as you know, I'm a night shift worker, and I was just not able to do it because I was at work and. Then when I could do something for, for it, I was just I was so depleted. So I'll, I did. I, I mentioned in my previous video for Witch's Heart, I did a um, little spell jar because I, I like doing spell jars for Sabats. It's like my little thing. It's like a visual thing that I have on my shelf, uh, so I can see the turn of the wheel with using these little spell jars. So they're, they're quite special to me. So I, at least. I did it. Did something. I always decorate my altar, but I do like to mark it in some magical form, uh, even if it is just doing a spell job. And this, if you have the wonky diary, you'll recognise that because these are in the wonky diary. And I just read what it said. That's as far as I got. That's it. So all this, I do not know. I have not got a clue what it is. That obviously, I can read what it is. But you guys can't, I hope, unless you can see what it's upside down. So I'm just going to pop that there so that you're not going to see it too much. And I can see what it is. And I've always wanted one. I never had one. So thank you very much, Wonky. You've read my mind. Thank you. I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm so excited. So these, I have no idea. Oh, this is a twig. I don't know if that's just packaging or there's something in it yet. No idea. So everything's really well wrapped. We've got a spell kit. And that's it. My wonky box is empty. I'm so excited. Pop that to one side. Right, so I'll just check this if this is just packaging. Right, so that's just packaging. Pop that on the floor. On the dog shelf. Right, so bell time. That is the theme of this month. Uh, so Wonky, they always go with the wheel of the year for their themes. So we're on bell time. Here we go. And uh, these appear in your Wonky diary. So that's where you'll recognise it from. The beautiful. I always frame mine and I put it up on my altar for each month. And I've also got like the Headingham Fair for what time of month it is so I've got the April's one up and I've got that one up at the moment and then I've got all things for April and um, I've got the um, little pewter 
it was like a necklace, but I don't use it as a necklace, it's like a talisman thing um, that says uh, like April on it and uh, well it'll be bell time, the one that I put up next, um, but I've still got the Ostara one up at the moment, um, but the next one will obviously be bell time, I put that out, um, but I've got to do my ulti yet for bell time, um, but I was waiting for this, this box, so here we go, uh, I'll read you the wonky card, so this is card for the wonky collective for April, Tea ceremony. Ooh, I like a cup of tea. A tea ceremony. <laughs> I need one, I think. A tea ceremony is all about focusing on the steps and routine. Taking time and enjoying the simple things. Whilst drinking, you are encouraged to be grateful and set things right. To take time to enjoy just being you. This card is in is here to tell you just that. You've been mushing around, yeah, like a headless chicken, yeah, for too long worrying about this. This, that and everything else. With the weather changing, it is time to take some moments for yourself. Focus on a mindfulness routine to set yourself up for success and spend some time looking at what you are grateful for and could do more of in your life. Blessed be. It's beautiful. I love that. From Abigail Cunningham, Priestess of Morrigan. Card drawn from Firefox Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much. As you know, I'm collecting all these, popping them in the box, and then I will be like doing them as like a card pull. Um, so yeah, I, I love that. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because it's going to give away what's in there. Uh, I will refer to that if I need to. That's the ingredients list. I will just show you that. That is their website. If you can see it, I will pop on the link anyway uh, in the description box uh, accompanying this video so you can just click onto the uh, Wonky Broomstick site because they do have a web shop. Web shop? <laughs> they do have a shop on the web and uh, so you can buy their magical goodies because they don't just do a monthly subscription box, they do have magical goodies to buy. Um, they also have a Facebook group, if you just type in Wonky Broomstick, uh, you will find them, join their group and it's a lovely group to be a part of, I love being a part of that group. And they also put up beautiful videos and they share, also share with you uh, when new goodies are in their shop as well. So yeah, it's a good place to be, good place to be, so yeah. I love my wonky. I love being a part of the wonky family. So this is, it tells you uh, a bit about the items that they've chosen and why, a little bit of backstory and normally something a little bit about um, the season and what it means to them. I'll, I'm not going to read it all to you, I'll just, just read just like the first few sentences. So it's welcome to April's wonky subscription box. I hope you enjoy the goodies enclosed. This month's box is dedicated to the great advice about of Ostara. No it isn't. <laughs> hey, Beltine. <laughs> Beltine marks, they've actually put Ostara, I didn't say it wrong, hey, testing us, Beltine marks the halfway point between Ostara and the summer solstice, it's when the green man and the goddess come together and as a result of their union the earth is blessed with the fertility of life and the earth truly blossoms, oh beautiful, love that, absolutely love that, so thank you, right, next one. Beltine Fire Spell Kit. Ooh. We had um, a really lovely bonfire last time. Um, we've got a lot of like, um, you know, dead growth from some uh, um, trees and things like that we'd saved up. That really, you know, like died off and died down and dried off so we'd feel like a brazier thing it had a really really good fire and it would just you know when you, you just look it into flames and it's just like one of those just magical moments because it's not very often we have a fire outside um, it was just one of those really spiritual times it were it was really something that's absolutely amazing I mean I didn't do a ritual with it or anything it was just you know you just fire gazing because I love fire gazing um, it was just quite a deep deep moment and I'll, I'll always remember that absolutely beautiful so what we've got here so we've got a bell time fire spell with a maypole i've actually got a little um, tiny maypole that i put on my altar um it's just it's just one that i, I bought off ebay it's just got like a little disc 
with like the pole and the ribbons dangling down and then you just connect it and just pop it on your altar. Um, and we've got old time fire spell so we've got that. So we've got a candle, red, Ooh. Beltine fire salt. Just say bell time fire salt is quite fine print. Come on, come on, Phil. There we go. Right, let's have a little look. Uh... Right, so I can't really read you out the spell anything about it because I'll be reading out the entire spell. It's one of those, but it's a spell that incorporates this with the candle and this okay okay so it is you are casting out your spell into the universe by using this and i like i say i don't want to read it out because i always encourage you guys to to go and research your own spells make your own spells or you know find them online or buy from these companies rather than clicking and, and, and copying and um, you know I mean there are plenty of people that do give you free stuff anyway on Instagram uh, I always recommend you know Mystic Primrose she's really really good for that um, which Casket have also just started doing videos as well that they're, they're really good as well uh, so yeah so I'm not gonna hold it up and I'm not gonna read the spell out to you guys uh, but yeah, I, it's it's a really good one. Uh, but yeah, it's a Beltine fire spell. Type that in. There'll be plenty online. You'll be able to get it. But yeah, lovely. And I'm, you know me and my little jars. Yep, love that. So thank you. And I like that they're starting to do them in little packages like this. I like that. Um, because you know, with my, me having my other boxes, I like to store them in like a storage box. Um, so it's quite easy to stack them um, all together and I put them in like certain orders. I've got one like box, you know, for like, you know, like bath rituals and things like that. I put them in a different box and it's like what I'll do is I'll leave this letter out, letter, I'll leave the spell out, pop it into an envelope and then on my days off from work I will write down the spell in my own writing, pop it in a poly pocket along with that and then I pop that into my like, grimoire, my, you know, um, my magical workings book and I keep all my spells from magical companies in poly pockets with this, with my written bit in one folder and then anything else is in another folder so I know that if I'm wanting uh, a spell or a ritual from one of my magical subscription boxes I go to that folder yeah rather than going oh are they in my other spells no they're all in that one folder and I always keep the little leaflet uh, I mean with this I will probably write on it or write on the header from wonky boomsticks I like to know where these spells have come from yeah that's, that's, that's how I work uh, and I like to write them in my own hand because I can't read that by candlelight. Uh, and plus with Puppet and Polly Pocket, it's waterproof. You know, if you get any oils on it or anything like that, you can just wipe it off and then you can just file it. Uh, so that's, that's how I work things. That's how I've always done it. And it's what works for me. Might not work for you. Uh, we've got another ritual here. This is a bell time ritual. Again, just type in bell time rituals. You will get loads of free information online. Honestly, you will. Uh, I think Pinterest do a lot as well. Um, do what you feel is right. Some might be a bit sketchy. Cross-reference a lot of information. Any that you think, mm, that sounds a bit, usually are. Um, Cross-reference a lot of information. Um, just to make sure you're getting the good stuff, you know. Or like I say, get from these companies. Uh, Wonka Boomsticks, they do you can just buy spell kits my other magical subscription boxes you can just go online and buy direct from them you don't have to click and copy so yeah that is the ritual see what I mean now I can't see that by candlelight I will sit down and copy all that out pop it in a poly pocket and pop that with it and um, so that will be the bell time ritual that I will 
I think I'm off work, so all being well, fingers crossed and toes, I will be able to perform that ritual. Love it. So I'm intrigued by them. Don't know, are we making a wand? Oh, I'm wrapping that. Oh, goodie bags. We always have like a goodie bag and again beautiful handwritten. I save these as you know. Um, I always I like to put them um, you know with your my offerings. I like to put them with my offerings. It matches my nail varnish. <laughs> so from Loud Lacquer, my nail varnish is called Red Rum. Of course it's got to be red red rum knowing me, you know. Got the wrong t-shirt on actually, haven't I? I'll show it you. I've got got the wrong one on. It should I should have my shiny one on, shouldn't I? <laughs> I've just realised that. Slipped up there. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. See so, yeah, I'll be saving that. Ooh. So red oil of some sort. I've got a really bad sense of smell. I can't get any fragrance from that, but I have got a really, really bad sense of smell. But there are some crystals in there. Charcoal disc. Some ribbon. Is it Italian flag, that, are those colours? I'm sure it, it is, isn't it? It's Italian flag. I do apologise if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it's Italian flag. Candle and vial. Um, Beltine herb mix. So it's just a vial of herbs. I do like these vials of herbs. You know when you, you are doing like um, a spell jar, you know, because they are so tiny, they just pour in really nicely. Um, I like them. Right, so got that. Right, haven't got any information about that, so I'm presuming it's to do with that. Presuming, I don't know. Let's have a look, a little look. Uh, right, so this is. Beltine oil with crystal chips. Ah, it's a maple kit. So I'm to make a maple out of this. Ah, so that is what the right. Right, okay. So yeah, so that is Beltine oil with crystal chips. And this is to go with the ritual of that. And we are making a maypole with that. So it's similar to like what I've, I've got on my altar, only mine's like half the size of, size of that. Um, and it's like making your your rituals well, that's brilliant i love that i'm just like skimming over it so i i, I do do apologize but yeah i like that i like that very much so yes bel beltine ritual uh, you could even um, type in beltine maypole ritual um that will come up with something uh you incorporate your own ideas of doing your own miniature maypole um, but I do like this oil I'd like to know what's in it I want to know what's in it monkey what's in it I like it right this one oh I love it 
this is the new thing that they're starting. Am I correct, Wonky, that this is the new thing that you started? Because I said that they're starting a new item in the boxes. Please be the new thing that you're starting because this is... Oh, my goodness. How beautiful is that? It's ceramic. It's an altar tile. That is beautiful. I absolutely love that. So it's cork on the back. So you can like use it for something. I mean, you could use if you wanted to use it as a coaster. Yeah, if you wanted to use it for like a drink, you don't have because it's it's an altar tile. You might go, well, I don't really want it as an altar tile. You don't have to. You can simply use it as, you know, just a coaster for your drinks on your table while it's full time season. Then pop it away, um, or you could use it, you know, when you. You've got your, if you're doing like a ritual of cakes and ale at the end, you could pop, you'd stand your drink on there. It's a waterproof surface, you know, but that is beautiful. I will definitely be popping that on my altar. Um, I've got the um, wooden ones from Praise Cauldron. Um, I do love those as well. But that, it, it reminds me of Seaside. I, I don't know whether it's the, the clouds and the sun, it just reminds me of Seaside. That is beautiful. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much. And I do like things that you can put away and you can keep for the next year. And especially with it being something small. You know, something small and you can save it. And I like, you know, I, you know me, I'm a collector. I like to collect things. Um, so I've got all of the ones from Freya's Cauldron that are all the Sabat, uh, the pyro wooden ones all of the little pewter necklace ones and all of those you know I, that is me I'm, I'm I'm a collector I can't help it and so I can't wait for those and you know which one I'm looking forward to if they are doing them please do a sour one please do a sour one please do a sour one I love that I love that I'm, see I'm going in my mind I can see what my altar is going to look like now and I'm like and I cannot wait to show you the next item. I tried to sneak it out of shot because it's it's gorgeous. And I cannot believe that we've got one, to be honest, in the box because they're quite I think they're quite expensive. Uh, we've got a shop um, on like our like main shopping centre. I mean, I'm, I live in like a village, um, um, and so it's not, not a massive shopping centre, you know. Um, and this one of the uh, news agents has got these on display and he's got them in the windows and I've always always go and look at them when I'm going to the next shop down to get my birds bird bird food I always look at them and I'm like oh I love them I love them I love them and then but then I'm like oh I don't don't know which one I want I'm like oh I like that I like that one I like that one and now you've gone and got me one and it's it is actually one that I was fancying so Thank you. Thank you, Wonky. It's one of these ceramic light thingy with Bobby Watts it's. <laughs> I haven't got a clue how they work. So bear with me. Uh, but they look beautiful. I mean, they're, they're done with like a really nice backdrop so that they show up really, really well. Um, because of course you, can, you can't see, can you? You know, you know when they're just on display and they're not lit up. Um, I'm just trying to start that. There we go. Right. I've been incredibly clumsy today. <laughs> on my last video, I was just dropping everything on the floor, so I've been incredibly uh, careful not to drop this. It's made of ceramic. It doesn't look damaged. It look okay, guys. So, right. so you pop your. But I haven't got a candle in it. 
Excuse. Do you see this? This is from Pumpkin Hollow. Just excuse me. I'm just going to pinch the candle out a bit because it's um, a candle holder. So, see what I mean? Now you, you you see it in the shop window. You, so you pop your candle in there. It would be better, obviously, a, a real candle. It'll show it up more. But I'm just trying to get, give you an idea. Then you pop it on, and it is. I, I can't really show you very well. It is a tree of life. It's too much light in the room, isn't there? I'm trying. I'm trying my best to show you. But yeah, it's a tree of life. I don't think the um, flame is strong enough to actually show you. It does it is doing something isn't it yeah it's beautiful so I'm trying to get you a good shot but you can imagine when it's dark with an actual tea light in it that is going to shine straight through and you your candle come straight through there uh, let me show you the box. The box will show you a bit better. Yeah, I've always wanted them. So thank you so much. Because I know they're not cheap. So yeah, look, look at the design. It's the Tree of Life. It's so weird because I actually had like a Tree of Life dream. Uh, Few days ago yeah a few days ago I tend to find when you know because I'm a night shift worker you know the um, when I've come off my shift and then go to sleep that is when I'm more active in my weirdness <laughs> you know I have really really good like lucid dreams and things like that and my I I do have like clairaudience as well and I find that that is more active when I've been on night shifts I think it's because your brain's acting slightly differently because of the of night shifts. You know, you you're not you should be asleep at that time, and so your brain's working slightly different, and so my certain senses are more heightened. Um, but yeah, when I sleep after doing my night shifts, especially after my second one, um, well, the dreams I have are so amazing they're absolutely out of this world and one of them was a tree of life dream and um, I'm not going to go into into detail but it's so weird that I've actually got of all the ones because there are quite a lot in this collection of all the ones I've got a tree of life so thank you very much Wonky thank you because it's not something I don't really have any items with the tree of life on to be honest it's not something not something that I own a lot of items of. In fact, it's not something I buy items with. Uh, if anything, it's sort of like keys and for Hecate or uh, like the goddess symbol. So for me to get this and I've been dreaming about it, it's, 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 it's perfect. So thank you so much, Wonky. I'm just, I'm just so sorry that I can't really show it you in all its glory. Um, <laughs> it's just I just can't show it you but if you've seen them you understand what they look like that bit glows and I'm so happy and I'm so thankful thank you so much Wonky this is absolutely beautiful and if you are thinking of doing these as a series please do because I'm so excited things like this I love things like this and I love it um yeah, I can't wait to read through the ritual uh, because, yeah, it looks amazing. Um, I just want to know what's inside this. I just want to know what's inside this. I'd love to know what that is. Um, oh, I've just read with, for the herbs. We have got mugwort, red sandalwood and white willow. Um but it doesn't tell us what's in the Beltine oil. 
Beltine fire paper. I haven't got any Beltine fire paper. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just reading. I'm going to. Oh, that's that's. I presume it's that. That's it. I have got bell time fire paper, it's that. So yeah, just looking through. So yeah, it's just that. I, I was just curious as to what was in that. So yeah, another amazing box from an amazing and beautiful company. Please support Wonky. Support a small business because they're absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, check out their web, sh web, web, web shop. <laughs> web shop. Uh, they've got lots of magical goodies to suit all of your needs and wants. Um, yeah, join their Facebook group. The, this is, is absolutely brilliant on there. I love it to bits. So yeah, thank you so much for, for watching. I love my wonky, as you know. Another amazing, amazing box. So thank you. I can't can't wait. Can't wait to get for it to get dark now and have a play with my little candle. Oh, I love that. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please stay safe. And yeah, I hope you have a magical day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.